Hello folks, so in this video we'll talk about what you need to know and how can you prepare yourself to apply for entry-level data analyst job and it's more about before you are being interviewed. So if you are interested, please stay till the end and let's start the video. Now first I want to talk about the job posting. So nowadays if you look at the job posting on LinkedIn or Indeed, I think 80% of time you literally feel like you are not ready for that job because this job posting is literally poorly crafted and reason behind this one is that this job posting is often being written by HR or some person who hasn't any technical knowledge. So what they do, they try to put each and every skill they find on the Google in job posting. So as a result, you are not finding job posting as a job posting, but as a list of skills. For example, they want entry-level data analysts with having experience and skill in AWS, SQL, Power BI, Python, Tableau, and a bunch of other technical skills. But if you literally go and check there, you realize that you may end up working with Excel. So this is the reality of job posting nowadays. So in this scenario, you can do two things. Number one, if you think that you have two or three skills out of all the skills they mentioned in the job posting, then you should apply. Number two, and this is I think most effective way, you can contact the people who is already working in the company to LinkedIn and you can ask them that hey which skill you are using in day-to-day -day life on what project you are working right now so in this way you can do two things the one you may realize that either you should apply for this job or not and second this thing will help you in the interview as well after that try to learn the technical skills and tools that you need to use as a data analyst in your day-to-day -day life and here I want to mention three tools number one MS Excel number two SQL and number three any data visualization tools like Power BI or Tableau and after you get comfortable with these tools you can move on to the Python as well. Now here I want to mention one thing do not jump yourself from one course to the other course do not jump yourself from one YouTube video to the other videos no just try to learn basic stuff on YouTube and try to apply those skills on your project. Now a lot of people are saying that, hey, I can get a job without project as well. Of course you can. And there are a lot of people who got the job without doing project as well. But mostly all of the people are from the computer science or data analytics background, right? But if you, if you are someone who hasn't any experience, who hasn't any degree in the relevant field, then I think project is a good idea for you to get a job. And why it's so? Because in the interview, you are giving interviewer a subject to discuss with you. So... They can ask the question around your project and you can shine yourself in the interview. Now I want to talk about the internship. So if you are someone who is doing bachelor, master or diploma in the field of data analytics and the computer science and if you have a chance to do an internship then I think you should go for it whether it is paid or not because by doing internship you are building your network, you are building your connection and you are building your experience as well and I think this thing will help you to lead the entry-level data analyst position. Now if you are like me who hasn't any expertise, who hasn't any experience in the field of data analytics and the computer science, then what you can do, you can ask your nearby business to give their data to you so that you can do some task of data analytics on their data. And if it is not possible for you, then you can go on the website of your nearby NGOs and you can check whether they need someone who can work with the data freely as a data analyst, then you can go and grab their opportunity. Because by doing so, by doing by working freely for these businesses and NGO, you are doing two things. You are building your network and you can use those references while your job applications. So I think pretty much it to get anti-level data analyst position. And if you like this video, then please like and subscribe my channel and see you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.